Hey guys, Zach Thompson here, Western Bass. I just want to give you guys a couple tips on some post spawn, like late spawn, early post spawn at Clear Lake. Some of the best fishing you're going to do at Clear Lake, I think, is just at that stage where the fish are. Most of them are getting done. There's a few still coming up. It's, it, there's fish spawning, there's fish not spawning. So is it post spawn? Is it spawn? Well, in my opinion, you're going to be having a lot more consistent success if you go after those post spawn fish at Clear Lake and I'm going to show you a few baits that I think you can cover a lot of water with, catch a lot of fish and you're not having to look at them. That's the key here. Okay, the, the few baits I want to talk about, you got your snag proof frog, you got your uh, czar spook or, or uh, whatever kind of walking bait you want to throw. You got to have the little creepers trash fish. This is a must. I mean at Clear Lake you got to be throwing one of these and then a wake bait. I like the optimum, uh, optimum big minnow. Um, any of the any of the wake baits. If you have preference, go ahead. But these baits are going to allow you to cover that water where those post spawn fish are, and that those last spawners and and the fish that are going into the post spawn, they're going to want to be feeding up, and they're going to want to be recuperating from all that exertion that they were doing while they were spawning. And the frog is a great way. To, to locate those fish. Those fish are going to be really shallow. You want to key in on shallow pockets, areas outside of the main spawning areas that have shallow water and um, a, a, a lot of vegetation. If you can find the, the more vegetation, the better. Usually they're going to move off the wood and be more into the grass mats, overhanging dead tule berms, um, docks, that kind of stuff. So the frog, you want to skip and pitch that around that shallow vegetation. The czar spook you want to fish just on the outside areas maybe where there isn't as much vegetation, sparse tulies. That trash fish you could throw it anywhere. Um, I just like to slow roll it through those same areas. Um, I tend to like to throw the swim baits when it gets to be a little bit windy, a little bit overcast. You know, you get a little bit of that the late spring fronts moving through. The swim bait, the little creepers trash fish is just awesome. And that wake bait. You know, uh, wake baits look like real big obtrusive lures, but in the post spawn, when those big females are starting to recuperate, a slow wake bait just creeping along on vegetation edges, along a shady dock, um, just down the middle of a canal out in open water, you'll catch some of the biggest fish of the year on that wake bait when the post spawn hits. They won't be as full and heavy maybe as they were when they were spawning, but they're still those big bodied, you know, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine pounders, you know. So Clear Lake in the post spawn, just towards the tail end, we're not talking about that post spawn where there aren't any more fish coming up to spawn either, because that's when you're going to want to start moving deep, looking out on the ledges where the fish are going to spend the summer. This is when those fish are just getting done spawning and there's still maybe a few spawning, so you're seeing little bucks up, but you want to catch some big fish. Throw the, throw the snag proof frog, throw the spook, definitely throw the trash fish, throw the wake bait, and hold on because you're going to get your arm broke. That's Zach Thompson here on Western Bass, wishing you good luck and catch more fish.